Growing up, I always used to love comedy, but unfortunately, my friends used to tell me it was as funny as a dead fish. But when I was 11, I decided that I would do whatever it took to be funny, so I began to memorize all the jokes that I could. However, I would just berate people with my memorized jokes, and I never took the time to learn how to actually tell them. So, this is all I ever heard. Yeah, I know. I definitely needed help. So. I went to the funniest man I knew, my grandfather. Growing up, he always told the best jokes and had everyone on the floor laughing. There was just one problem. All of his jokes were way too dirty for a 12-year-old to repeat. Even now, I don't know if I could tell you them. Next, I went to my mother, who told me jokes need to be shocking, but true to be funny. Well, that didn't work either. Her advice worked out better, except the fact that ugly and fat people don't like being called out on it. I never knew that. Yeah, I was called down to the principal's a lot as a child. And the next stage of this journey happened when I turned 15. At one of the most important moments of my life, I saw the movie Goodfellas for the first time. Hands down, it's one of the greatest movies of all time. For those of you who don't know what it's about, it's about a bunch of wise guys. But more importantly, there was just something about the way they acted that just made them so funny without even trying. It's a funny, you know? It's a story. It's funny. You're a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the way you talk. It's just, you know, you, it's just funny. It's, it's funny. You know, the way you tell the story and everything. Funny how? It's funny. Tell me, you got it all wrong. Oh, wait. He's a big boy. He knows what he said. What'd you say? Funny how? And I was hooked. I tried to do everything possible to be just like them. I copied their mannerisms, the way they talk, and I basically became a better looking Joe Pesci. For a while, it worked out perfectly. I was hysterical, but it began to take over my life. People, they became afraid of me. Back to the drawing board I had to go, that I was going to be funny if it killed me. Then I went to college and it just clicked. Everyone was funnier when they were drunk. So, I just kept on drinking. But I quickly learned that no one laughs at you when you puke on their shoes. After nearly a decade, I felt defeated. I knew I never was going to be funny. And a little piece of me died. I finally died. Which started the now being able to get people to laugh without trying and laughing at myself but something about me had changed in the last 10 years i learned how to tell jokes i learned how to do impersonations i learned how to act like a goof and i learned what had been missing all along i learned how to be myself i might not always be the funniest guy around but i can honestly say that i've completed my quest to find out what it means to be funny